Hey everybody, welcome to the AI Guide where we focus on the human impact of AI because after all, that's what counts. And today we've got a great story on that. The very last video talked about brand new efforts to prepare for the arrival of AGI. Today we're going to talk about how do we actually get there. And this is courtesy of VentureBeat. And it's by two RAND Corporation researchers, this article. Speculation about OpenAI's groundbreaking Q model, this is GPT-5, <laughs> or whatever they're calling it, Q, have renewed public interest in the possibilities and risks of AGI. AGI could learn and execute intellectual tasks comparably to humans. Again, as I said in last video, Ray Kurzweil predicts that for 2029, only five years from now. Several companies, including OpenAI and Elon Musk's XAI, aim to develop AGI. This raises the question, are current AI developments leading toward AGI? They go on to say, Deep Learning, a machine learning method based on artificial neural networks, is used in ChatGPT and other contemporary AI. It has gained popularity due to its ability to handle different data types, meaning text, video, pictures, all that multimodal AI, as we've talked about before, and its reduced need for pre-processing, among other benefits, that is tagging data before running it through the AI, which used to be required only a few years ago. All this stuff has happened in only the last two to three years. Many believe deep learning will continue to advance and play a crucial role in achieving AGI. However, deep learning has limitations. Large data sets and expensive computational resources are required to create models that reflect training data. So it's very resource intensive, very large training data sets. And then you expose it to the real world and new data. These models derive statistical rules that mirror real world phenomena. Those rules are then applied to current real, wor real world data to generate responses. Deep learning methods, therefore, follow a logic focused on prediction. In fact, from its original inception, AI was always about prediction. Watch my history videos that I did at the start of this channel. The sensitivity of these rules to the uncertainty of the natural world makes them less suitable for realizing AGI. In other words, these rules are very, very sensitive to having been trained. The June 2022 crash of a cruise robo-taxi could be attributed to the vehicle encountering a new situation for which it lacked training, rendering it incapable of making a decision with certainty. That is the best technical description I've seen since all the story came out about crews being suspended in California for this accident. Humans typically engage with the real world by perceiving it in a real-time way, relying on existing representations to understand a new situation, the context, and any other incidental factors that may influence a decision. We repurpose existing rules and modify them as necessary for effective decision-making. So that's how the human mind works. This approach focuses on characterizing alternative actions in respect to desired outcomes rather than predicting the future, a subtle but important difference. So that means we're trying to figure out what is the most desired outcome as opposed to what is the future. Achieving AGI might require diverging from predictive deductions to enhancing an inductive what if capacity when prediction is not feasible? So this is exactly how the human mind works. A combination of deductive reasoning, this is logical, statistical, and what AI has always been, generally speaking, but now becoming inductive, which is what we use to take a bunch of facts and 
understand what is happening in a whole new situation. That's inductive reasoning. So they go on to talk about a method that may work for AGI. Decision-making under deep uncertainty, DMDU, which you guys know I don't like all these acronyms. DMDU methods such as robust decision-making may provide a conceptual framework to realize AGI reasoning over choices. DMDU methods analyze the vulnerability of potential alternative decisions across various future scenarios without requiring constant retraining on new data. So this recognizes that constant retraining of these monster models is not really feasible, right? It, it, it's not to do it with any frequency, at least not now. So DMDU is an inductive reasoning method, and we've talked about others in previous videos. The goal is to identify decisions that demonstrate robustness, the ability to perform well across diverse futures. DMDU methods prize robust alternatives that may trade optimality for the ability to achieve acceptable outcomes across many environments. This is another way, putting it in plain English, that the human mind works. We don't try to optimize things. We just look for the best practical outcome, not the optimum outcome. Developing a fully autonomous vehicle could demonstrate this application of the proposed technology, DMDU. The challenge lies in navigating diverse and unpredictable real-world conditions, thus simulating human decision-making skills while driving. Addressing unforeseen challenges in AV development is ongoing. So this is work being actively done in autonomous driving which is why level five will arrive, level four, which is the precursor to full autonomy, is already here. One potential solution involves adopting a robust decision approach. The AV sensors would gather real-time data to assess the appropriateness of various decisions, such as accelerating, changing lanes, braking, within a specific traffic scenario. This is exactly what we humans do. If critical factors raise doubts about the algorithmic rote response, which is, you know, like the immediate solution of the AI, the system then assesses the vulnerability of alternative decisions in a given context. This would reduce the immediate need for retraining on massive data sets and foster adaptation to real-world uncertainties. This all goes to, say, making these systems inductive in reasoning. As AI evolves, we may need to depart from deep learning paradigm and emphasize the importance of decision context to advance towards AGI. DMDU methods may provide the initial framework to pivot the contemporary AI paradigm towards robust, decision-driven AI methods that can handle uncertainty in the real world. So what does all this mean, big picture? Multiple approaches are being tried out right now to bridge the gap from where AI is today at GPT-5 to get to AGI. So multiple approaches by multiple groups, which virtually assures success. We can't know when and we can't know who will have the breakthrough, but the breakthrough is virtually certain based on what's happening. So this is huge stuff. And what does it mean for us? Just like I said at the end of the very last video, three things. One, prepare yourself psychologically for accepting the fact that there's something on this planet smarter than any human being. Huge psychological shift. This is going to be massive. And the reason you prepare for it is because if you don't, you may completely freak out when this happens. Some people will. That could turn into an interesting situation. That's all I'll say. Number two, focus your career on jobs that require the human touch across the spectrum of work. Trades, maintenance people, plumbers, electricians on the hands-on job side. And on the other side, 
nurses, doctors, psychologists, stuff like that for knowledge workers. You don't want to be a driver. You don't want to work in a warehouse. You don't want to be a lawyer unless you're a litigator appearing in court, human touch required. All the paper pushing, no, not needed in the near future. And number three, learn as much about AI as you can, right? It will govern your life. Understand it. Be prepared to work with it. Learn how to use Microsoft Copilot. Let AI write your emails. You have to edit them still, believe me. Use AI in your day-to-day life as much as possible. Then when the shock comes, you will be much more prepared. So thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. Link below. I omitted that in error for a little while. Link below. Need your financial support. Otherwise, in the near future, when we hit monetization, ads will start running. It's up to you guys. So thanks so much for tuning in. Take care. See you next time. Bye.